Hi! Hey everybody. guys! <laughs> What's up church family? Pastor Matt here, joined by... Pastor Mel. And we are here coming to you live uh, for the third time to yes. talk about um, the mental health aspects um, and how we can promote that best in our lives right now yes. during uh, quarantine. Disclaimer, we are not healthcare professionals. We are yes. not mental health professionals, but we are individuals that care about that. Uh, and we want to see you not just survive, but thrive in your life in this time. Yes. And, uh, you know, me and Mel have been, been talking even in the last few minutes about mm -hmm. um, it'd be really easy to fixate on the negative aspects of this shift uh, from what we would define as normalcy. Mm -hmm. Like there's been a lot of breaks in routines, a lot of uh, breakdowns of uh, our everyday life, so to speak. But I think what could be missed here is the opportunity. I feel like there's a real opportunity in this. You want to kind of expound on that a little bit? Yeah. So we've been talking the past couple of weeks just about like different things within your mental health, within your home environment and situation. And so um, today we're kind of just going to hit real quick on just making memories during this time. Um, and so whether that applies to maybe you're the only one in your home, maybe you are in your home with your children and you feel like you are losing your mind. Um, hang in there. We're hang praying for in you. there. So uh, just, you know, there's, isn't there like a country song that talks about you're going to miss this? I mean, I don't know that we're really going to uh, miss you're this. You're asking me about country music lyrics. I don't know anything Those about of you country music. Me, uh, Somebody knows what I'm talking about right house, now. But, but I'm saying in pertaining to this time that we get to have with yeah. our families that we don't normally get to have. We're going to look back on that and mm -hmm. see this hopefully as a wonderful time that we got to have together. So. Absolutely. Um, we, we are having something in my household right now that we haven't had for a long, long time. We're having a lot of evenings at home yeah. together without an agenda, without uh -huh. somewhere to be, which is... And you're, because you're very on the go people. We, yeah. we are. Uh, <laughs> our kids keep us hopping. Um, they're involved in a lot of activities, have been mm -hmm. involved in a lot of activities, but all those have come to a screeching halt. So it was almost initially like, what do we do now? Um, so, you know, we've incorporated uh, family game nights. I'm, I'm the biggest cinephile in the Harmon Harman household. I like to watch movies. Um, <laughs> My wife almost hates, if you know her, uh, watching movies, so that's been a struggle. But that, you know, just finding things to do and creating memories, laughing together, uh, enjoying one another's company. Um, as for me personally, I've had some more in-depth conversations uh, with family and friends uh, mm -hmm. recently. When I say friends, um, you know, we're able to have phone conversations, but um, as church staff, we are considered essential yes. employees yes. and uh, Mel was talking about you know she feels like she's created a lot of memories in that you want to talk about that mm -hmm. a little bit Mel? yeah I mean the past couple of weeks like we've we've had a lot going on around here we're getting ready for our Easter experience we have the boxes of hope that's been happening and so we've actually really been able to create a lot of memories together and um, so I know a lot of you are still working right now um, a lot of you are working maybe in retail or in businesses are considered essential. And so I think there's a lot of opportunity to make memories. Uh, Pastor Amanda and Amber and I were talking yesterday and we, we were just like, we need to take some more pictures and be able to like remember this time. And, you know, we took them from six feet away from each other. But, um, you know, just remembering that it's so easy just to get bogged down and like weighed down with everything that's happening but just like you know relying on whoever you are around and if you're by yourself and maybe you're just in your home quarantined um just reaching out and you know we have facetime we have a lot of ways to stay connected and so um, we had a zoom call this morning actually um with the staff and we had we all made a memory together at my child's expense because his backpack has been un Ooh. um untouched and i wasn't there in person but i felt like i was it was like a bomb went off it was like a, something exploded we heard the sound 
and and then all of a sudden it was followed by smell and not everyone else could smell it but i think by the end of it everyone felt like they could smell it because we all we were able to create a digital memory together in a scenario 100%. where we weren't all together but you should be thankful that you didn't have to smell i it. i could almost live vicariously through you guys in that moment for sure and that's something you guys are going to remember <laughs> yes. uh, from this experience yeah so uh, and uh don't I, I think mel and i would agree that we would encourage you don't miss these opportunities that you have right now with family and loved mm -hmm. ones um because this is something we're going to look back on and it would be great to look back with fondness for this time we were kind of forced into uh for some memories we were able to create and also when things slow down, we can be kind of introspective yeah. and analytical. And we were talking about that a little bit. Um, I, you know, I've kind of been convicted of some things in my own life, uh, within our, uh, within my relationships that I have, as I take a, a long, hard look during, uh, this quarantine, I was able to say, you know, I've taken some things for granted. Mm. I need to slow down, stop and smell the roses, so to speak, yeah. more in my life. Um, because it's like, go, 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 get home late. Okay, kids, go to bed. It's it's late and you need to get a good night's sleep. And just, man, I, I've had some really great in-depth conversations with my kids and they're getting older all the time. Uh, my oldest is getting ready to be a senior. Mm -hmm. So realistically, I mean, we're going into... Um, her last school year of her at home and it's kind of scary and it's like oh my, my goodness my, my window is closing so I really need to capitalize on this time and I really want to capitalize on this time because you know my other kids are younger than mm -hmm. her but not significantly yeah so uh you know our kids grow up so fast the time that we have uh with family friends is so important um so valuable it's important to focus on the quality of that time mm -hmm. that we have. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I 100% agree with that. I think, um, yeah, I've had some really interesting conversations with my 10 year old as well, that I feel like he tends to be more of like a quiet guy mm -hmm. and, and um, he's not been very quiet at all. And we've had just a lot of like neat conversations that I'm like, kind of it convicted me as well because I'm like maybe he's not that quiet maybe I just haven't made enough time to ask him and so uh that's been really neat but also I think even you know for people maybe where you don't have kids in the home um we're talking a lot about kids because that's the season that we're both in in our lives but one thing that's been really neat during this time too is I feel like I've gotten a lot more time to talk to other family members mm -hmm. on the phone um, or friends I've been talking with my mom a lot uh, on the phone and we don't normally talk on the phone, maybe like, you know, just a quick phone call here or there. And so that's been really neat just to be able to um, create more memories within that relationship. And so and we've been making, trying to make phone calls to people that we know and people within our teams and just because there is something about hearing somebody's voice. Um, and so it's it's been really neat, some of the connections that have come from that. So if you haven't, if you if you've not called anybody um, or talked to anybody, when somebody like pops into your head, call them. Reach out. You know, reach out. It's it's really easy to send a text, and, and that's great too if that's all that you have time for in a moment. But if you have a minute to make a phone call, I'd say make a phone call too. Like, it's it's really like it just creates a really cool memory. I feel like the sad reality is um, there are people out there right now that are struggling. Absolutely. Um, that are sad, that are lonely, that are overwhelmed. And um, I was trying to call a friend of mine uh, here about a week ago, and I had the, the wrong number saved. Mm -hmm. And I called. I was trying to call uh, my friend Andy, but instead I got a guy named Randy, <laughs> who I don't know, which was super confusing at the beginning of the conversation. R Randy, I do not know, lives uh, in Central Kansas, and uh, you know I. I was like, hey, Andy, it's me. And I told him, he was like, you like a pastor or something? I'm like, yeah. And anyways, long story short, we ended up having this nearly 15 minute conversation with this gentleman. I ended up praying really with him cool. and his uh, elderly mother, uh, someone I never met. Uh, but I think they were so delighted to 
have interaction with people. I think they were mm -hmm. lonely. I think they felt yeah. sheltered and, and, you know, they are not alone in that. There's people out there that are struggling that uh, are hesitant, but hesitant to reach out. I've had conversations with my kids, you know, that they're struggling with loneliness and they're like, oh, I haven't heard from anybody. So-and-so hadn't called you. I'm like, well, have you called them? No, if they want to talk to me, they call me. Have you ever thought something like that? If someone, so-and-so wanted to talk to me, they would call me. Is it not possible that they are thinking the exact same thing? Mm -hmm. And you are your biggest, you're your own biggest barrier, your own worst enemy in these uh, relational breakdowns that you're experiencing right now. If you are thinking about someone, reach out, yeah. call them, be proactive. Don't put it off on them. It's not their responsibility. This is a two way street and we're better in this to, if we're working together Absolutely. than we are, um, trying to let someone else handle it for us. Yeah. Um, I hope that makes sense. So, no, that's good. It's good. So anyways, um, closing thoughts, Mel? I mean, Get out there, make some memories. Don't get out there though. Like, get you can go you in can your get backyard. Get out there, but follow CDC guidelines. Yes. Be smart. Be safe. But let us know what you're doing to make some memories. Mm. Um, you know, if you've got any games that you've been playing or any like yeah. you know fun things that you've been doing, and if you haven't checked them out yet, make sure you're watching Pastor Mike and Amanda's TikTok videos because oh they're goodness. making hilarious. hilarious memories. But let us know what you're doing to create memories and. One last thing, don't One miss the thing. opportunity for this time to um, to identify ways you can make changes in your life moving forward. Yes. Once we go back to what we consider normal, which in reality is gonna be the new normal, right, right. things don't have to go back the way they were. Use this time to identify ways to be more impactful, more intentional in your life to make an impact in the lives of the people around you, especially those we love most, okay? Don't miss these opportunities. Good right? Stuff. Anything else, Mel? I think that about sums it up. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Guys, right. thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate uh, you spending the time with us. Um, the truth is, those of you that we're used to see on a regular basis, we miss you and think about you all the time. You miss you like crazy. And we can't wait to be able to uh, go back to normal, so to speak, the new normal. And uh, in the meantime, don't hesitate to reach out, and we'll be trying to reach out to you as well. Guys, we love you. Thank you again for joining us. We'll see you next time.